Hey guys, you bark herpers and um yeah. So let's 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 go through what's happened over the past couple of weeks, shall we? Let, let, let's do that. Yes. So if you're a Liverpool fan, we lost 3-0 to West Ham. Which as we found out today is not a bad thing to lose to West Ham considering who lost to him today? I'll get to that in a minute. But speaking of, but before I speak about one, but about a particular, about the particular team I'm talk, think, gonna be talking about in a minute. Let's talk about their nearest rivals and our rivals, Manchester United, because they beat us three one. And so Brendan Rodgers sitting there just off the back of two defeats. Threw away a Europa League game because we had the match won. Threw it away because why not? So, Brendan Rodgers thinks, hmm, how do I fuck up today? I know, let's give our worst defender, our worst p player, period, a new five year contract. A new five year contract! Why did Mamadou Sacco get a new five year contract? He shouldn't get a new five week contract. He shouldn't get a new five minute contract. He shouldn't get a new five second contract. Mamadou Sacco is our worst player, period. I'm including Minule. I'm including Minule. He was our worst player when we still had Glenn Johnson. That's how bad Sacco is. It's, and he got a new five-year contract. What? Brendan Rodgers is asking to be sacked. He is asking to be sacked. So I'm pleading with the, the owners of Liverpool Football Club. Give him his wish. Give him his wish. Send him... Send that Northern Irish prick packing. Send him packing. Because it's time that Liverpool move on from a manager who has absolutely no idea what he is doing or where he is going in, in, or what to do with a manager who is experienced, who has the skill, who has the drive, who has the, the credentials, who has everything we need to drive us to the top. Brendan Rodgers does not have that. It is time for him to be sacked. Fired. Done. He gave Mamadou Sacco a new five-year contract. He couldn't sign Stevie G to a new contract. He couldn't sign Money Gras at being prick. To a new contract, but Mamadou Sacco, he did no fucking problem. He couldn't keep Luis Suarez, but he kept Mamadou Sacco. He kept Mamadou Sacco because Mamadou Sacco is 20 times and as good as Luis Suarez. I don't, even, I don't even know. Brendan Rodgers clearly wants it. Just give him his wish. Ish. Ish. Is call him into your office or wherever. Me and man feel me and McMell would just go to his house for Christ's sake. He show up at his door. As he answers the door, they you say you're sacked. Right. Have a nice life. He, you're a terrible manager. You don't have to say that last part. That's just me getting it off my chest because it's the truth. Oof. He should not be in charge of a big team. We cannot be a big team with him in charge. Those two things, they clash. It is time for it to end. It is time for it to end. We lost against West Ham. We lost against Manchester United. Conceding six in the process. Yes. And big surprise, what... Who has been our goalkeeper for the whole Brendan Rodgers regime? 
Minule. Who is the only player? Who is the only player on that team that has not been at least once replaced by Brendan Rodgers? And don't include like that three-week period that he was replaced by Brendan Brad Jones. I mean a permanent replacement because Minule can't couldn't save if a shot and us in important games if his life depended on it. He can make some good saves every now and again, but as he showed against Man United and West Ham, he is not what we need in goal. And Brendan Rodgers had all summer long to get in a new goalkeeper. We were crying out for him to get in a new goalkeeper. Did he do it? Well, yes, he did get in a new goalkeeper, but he brought in Buggan. Buggan. Who the fuck is Buggan? Look, Buggan was good for Bolton. Bolton are a, are not even mid-table in the championship. We are Liverpool Football Club. We need a world-class goalkeeper. And Minule and Bogdan are not world-class goalkeepers. I'm going to name some world-class goalkeepers. Manuel Neuer. Does he play for Liverpool? No. He plays for a good team called Bayern Munich. Igor Casillas played for Real Madrid until at least until this past summer when he moved to Porto who are another big club. Even though he's injured, Tobias Courtois does play for a big team even though they're struggling. Think, think. Although they beat Arsenal today which makes hella difference. Oh, maybe it does now. Oh, after today's result in the Man City game. Okay. And I might get to that in a second. This is really just about Liverpool. If you're not interested in this, just click off. You're probably all, oh, already clicked off, except for the Liverpool fans who are, are, are encouraging me to continue on. And, well, you can see the length of this video, so you see how long I go on for. I may not stop. This may go on forever. Or, or, I have so much to get off my chest. Let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, Ter Stegen's a really good go Goalkeeper, does he play for Liverpool? No. Is, is Minule as good as Ter Stegen? No. Oh, Minule wouldn't have... Yes, Ter Stegen made a mistake against Roma, huh? but Minule wouldn't have made that mistake on his own. According to the Bar Barcelona manager, that was his fault, apparently. Minule doesn't need help from our manager. He's shit by himself! So we need a new goalkeeper. We need a new manager. We need to get rid of Mamadou Sacco because he's shit. He's bad on the ball. He doesn't even... He freezes. He stops. He's so... Un, he's so nervous on the ball. Oh, he, he it's, it's like he is not a professional footballer. It's like he's never played professional football in his life. I don't know how he ended up at PSG of all teams. But I can see why they weren't so keen on hanging on to him. Because, you know, PSG, if they really thought they had a really good gem there, why would they let us sign him for or, or 20 million? Oh, yeah. And don't say, oh, what about Coutinho? Will we sign him for mint or, or for, what, 8, 10 million? Even in Inter Milan, no, they made a mistake. They made a mistake. If we tried to sign Coutinho right now, it'd probably be about fifty to sixty million. And I'm not being biased. That's the truth. He's a really good player. He's our best player at the moment, especially with the news that Jordan Henderson broke his goddamn foot. Our season is, is pretty much over. Henderson is out. He's broken his foot. Our midfield is fucked. It's like a there's a big gaping hole there now. To, for no one to fill. Well, Can is not ready because he's not sure or where he'll be playing center back 
right back, left back, center mid. He doesn't know where he's going to be playing under Brendan Rodgers because Brendan Rodgers doesn't know where to play him. Him. This needs to end. This needs to end. I am... I'm imploring you to all my fellow Liverpool fans, share this all over the world. Let this video go viral. We will reach those corrupt fucking assholes who's, who run our club and are running it into the fucking ground. And like the corrupt American cunts that they are. Or I'm not saying people from America are corrupt. I'm saying our owners are corrupt assholes. Probably secretly work for EA. I mean, not EA. FIFA. Uh, same difference, I guess. Because EA's corrupt as well. We all know that. Anyone who plays FIFA knows that. Fucking hell. What else? Um, you know, just sack them all. Just sack them all. Sack our entire... Or, or, uh, sack them all. Sack Rogers. Sack our... Sack Ian Air. Because... He doesn't know how to find in, in, in players. There's, the manager should have full control, although not Brendan Rodgers. Obviously, a good manager should have full control, not Brendan Rodgers, because he'd just bring in a lot of Swansea he nobodies. He's, he's like, no offense, Joe Allen. What has he done for us lately? Nothing. Brendan Rodgers has made arguably three, maybe four good signings out of the what 30 plus he's made as Liverpool manager. Balotelli was a waste of money. Lovren is useless. Sacco is useless. Lalana, even though he did score against Bordeaux, oh, is injury prone. Hmm? He's not even playing Ings. Benteke doesn't suit our style. Oh. 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 It's just fuck up after fuck up after fuck up, and it is time for it to end. It is time for Brendan Rodgers to get a bullet in the head. It, it, it professionally. He, he. I'm not to the point where I'd want it to happen. In, in, in really, in real life, if where just someone just goes up and shoots him in the head. But I'm almost freaking there. I, I'm, I'm almost 100 percent sure. Or, or, I, I, I will probably be there tomorrow if we lose to Norwich. I will probably actually I'm almost gonna be sure we I will be there. Her and I will not be alone. So hashtag Burton Roger that. Share this with everybody. Share it with people who don't want to hear it. Just tell them. Share it all over the world. Make sure this will reach each the owners and they will get the fucking message. It's that they are not welcome. Brendan Rodgers is not welcome. Um, we need he new owners. We need new manager. Or we don't need Ian Air. We don't need any of those. He, he just, it's, it's, it's. We need to be Liverpool Football Club once again. We are not. not we don't even feel like a Liverpool Football Club right now. Losing to Man United three one. That shouldn't be happening. That shouldn't be happening. Many and I were playing just... Many and I and Liverpool, from the first couple of games, had the same results. They played each other 3-1 out of nowhere. What? Did, how did Many and I get so good in one game? It is bull... Shit! It is time 
for a change. It is time for Liverpool to be brought back to where it needs to be. And it needs to start with Brendan Rodgers getting the sack and with him being replaced by a legitimate, good, experienced manager who can and bring us to the promised land. That's what we want. And that is what we will get. You'll never walk alone.